Hi, I'm Mark Punsock, Head of Product at GitLab, and today I'm going to demonstrate installing GitLab Enterprise Edition onto Azure Container Service, which is a Kubernetes platform hosted by Microsoft. We're going to use the CLI, and I'm already logged in, so the first thing is to create a group to house the cluster. I'll create it in the North Central US zone. Then we create the cluster and name it Tanuki Website, based on the domain name I'll use. I'll only use one node, so it fits in a free trial account, but you can bump up the agent count if desired. It takes a while for the cluster to configure, so I'll just fast forward about 10 minutes here. Good, our cluster is ready for us to use. Let's connect to it. Now that we have our cluster configured, we're ready to install GitLab. To do this, we'll need the base domain name and an email address to use with Let's Encrypt. Then we use Helm to install all the necessary components. GitLab is now deploying and will take a while. The first thing is to wait until the load balancer spins up so we can grab the IP address assigned and configure our DNS with it. A couple minutes later, we've got our external IP address. Now I'm going to use Azure's DNS zones to set up a wildcard record for this IP address. Now let's check if our GitLab service is up and wait for it if not. Ten minutes later, it shows it's available, so let's check our GitLab deployment. Boom! We've got a shiny new GitLab installation. Before we get too carried away, we need to secure the root account with a new password. Great, now we're logged in to our fresh new installation of GitLab Enterprise Edition.